Today in our 2013 Subaru Outback, we're going to be test fitting the 31 by 47 Pro Series Solo Cargo Carrier. This is designed for use in a two inch hitch and it has a 450 pound weight capacity. Its part number is PS1040100. To begin our test fit, we're going to slide the shank of the rack, or the carrier rather, into the receiver tube of our hitch. Now, it's a larger carrier. Two people are always a good option, but one way I've figured out how to do this is just to get the shank pushed as far into the receiver tube of our hitch as we can. Then as we lift up on the back, we're going to push forward. As you can see, that's going to slide right in. We'll now need to line up our pinholes. Then we'll slide through our standard pin. It's a standard 5H pin. It does come with the carrier. And we'll secure it here on the other side using our clip. At its closest point to the rear of the vehicle, carrier's just over eight and a half inches away. It offers about 13 and a quarter inches worth of ground clearance. And overall, we've added about 41 inches to the length of the Outback. Check the hatch here. Yeah, as you can see, when we open the hatch, it is going to break over the plane of the carrier. That happens at about, about 21 and 3 quarters of an inch. The exhaust on our Outback is a single outlet. It's here on the driver's side. It's pretty far under the rear of the car and it is turned downward. That shouldn't have any kind of effect on heat sensitive materials, but just so you know, it is located about 15 and a quarter inches away from the front of our carrier. All we've got left to do now is load it with gear and we can hit the road. And that will complete today's test fit of the Pro Series Solo Cargo Carrier, part number PS1040100. Now let's show you what it looks like in action going through our test course. We'll go through the slalom, the alternating bumps, and the solid bumps. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway.